Hello chess lovers, Sullivan here and in this video I want to take a quick look at a very beautiful attacking game played by Russian chess grandmaster Sergei Smagin. His opponent is Serbian chess grandmaster Dragutin Shahovic and this game was played in 1990 in BL. Smagin opened up with e4 to which Shahovic responded with a hypermodern Nimtsovich defense. d4 d5, e5 bishop f5 c3. In here, as you know, bishop d3 is allowing black to win a pawn. You have to be very careful, that's why we see c3, white is strengthening his center, e6. And instead of going for uh, bishop d3, which is the main move, white played knight d2. This is the start of an interesting knight maneuver. f6, meanwhile black is undermining white center, but it stands solid. Knight h6, knight d f3, knight f7. Knight e2. So white brought his queenside knight on f3, and uh, the kingside knight will jump on g3. A maneuver which seems to be quite effective. Uh, bishop e7, knight g3, bishop g4, bishop d3. Uh, that maneuver also allowed white to kick away black's light squared bishop from b1 h7 diagonal. Yeah, moving it back on g6 can be met with h4. Uh, in the game we see bishop g4 and bishop d3. And it was in here that black decided to intensify the pin plate knight g5, but this is losing. If your computer is weak, in many cases stockfish can also choose this move, but it's losing. And instead it was better either to castle king side or play bishop h4, which is even stronger hitting on g3. Uh, instead we see knight g5, and as we have reached the critical position, you can pause the video and try to find the winning move for white. Uh, ready? Uh, well, I guess that in a blink of a second you found the uh, heavy blow, because similar ideas we have already seen many times. And in here, instead of thinking about making chicken moves like, I don't know, bishop e3, white went for knight takes g5, white is going for a queen sacrifice. All black could do was to accept the queen sacrifice and we have knight takes e6. Now if you decide to uh, give back the queen, then in this case uh, white has an extra pawn and uh, very nice attacking position. Uh, in our game, black played queen b8. Yeah, seems like that this is the safest square for the queen. Black is hiding it on b8, but this is a square intended for a knight, you know. On the other hand, white will now unleash the beast. I have to tell you that queen d7 is also not good. In this case, knight takes g7 can follow, followed by bishop f5. In our game we see queen b8 and there comes knight takes g7 check, king d8, king takes d1. Against the queen white got two pieces and two pawns, taking into consideration the fact that black's position is totally paralyzed, the pieces stand very passive, of course white has more than enough compensation and even white has an advantage. And now let's see how Smagin realized that advantage b5. Meanwhile, black is trying to create a luft for his pieces. There comes knight e6 check, king c8, knight f5. The second horse is also jumping into the game, bishop f8. Well, already white wanted to capture on e7 and then press black knight. Uh, in the game we see bishop f8, but this also can't help black. And here we see rook f1, king b7, meanwhile black is looking for ways of activating his pieces. And in this position you actually have to be very careful, because if you uh, win this pawn then black can play queen c8, and so black can somehow activate his position, you know. Uh, that's why in the game after king b7, instead of grabbing a pawn, white landed another heavy punch, bishop h6. Yes, once white is managing to get rid of this dark squared bishop, black's position is becoming totally defenseless. Here we see bishop takes h6, and once the bishop is removed from this diagonal, we have knight c5 check. There are too many holes in black's camp, king c8, 
knight takes h6, knight e7 covering the f5 square, but white is finding another way of activating this bishop, we have bishop e2, knight g6, knight f7, white is not only attacking black rook, but also is taking under control this square, and is threatening checkmate in one, and at this point actually we have a resignation, because and there are too many threats that you can't repel them all. What are you going to play? If I move like c6, then simply knight takes h8, the simplest way of winning. And then rook f8 check, and then knight a6, yeah, it's over. Or after knight f7, what else can we play? If queen b6, freeing the b8 square for the king, then there comes bishop g4 check, and then knight takes h8, yeah, this is a total destruction, just no way out. Uh, that's why after knight f7, black finally capitulated. Another very nice game, that queen sacrifice allowed smug to activate his pieces and demolish opponent's position. Uh, in the end, a chess puzzle for you, where the task is to find that winning line for white. Uh, it's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. There is a study-like solution and I hope that you can find it. Feel free to check out my early uploads as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.